Pocket Angels, welcome back for another Matinic episode. This is Mom Mika, your grade 9 teacher. Welcome back to school. And to start our lessons for our first quarter, let's have illustrating quadratic equations. After going through this lesson, you are expected to illustrate quadratic equations. Before we start our first lesson, let's have an activity. Simplify the following expressions. You have 3 minutes to do that. Time's up! Let's answer together. Number 1. 3 times the quantity of x squared plus 9. Using distributive property of multiplication, we then distribute 3 by multiplying it to x squared and 9. Therefore, we have 3x squared plus 27. Number 2. The quantity of w plus 7 times the quantity of w plus 3. Using FOIL method to simplify the expressions, we get w squared plus 10w plus 21. Number 3. Same with item number 2, we will also use the FOIL method here. Hence, we have 2x squared plus 9x minus 5. Number 4. Applying the square of binomials, we get 9 minus 24m plus 16m squared. And lastly, item number 5, by applying the product of the sum and difference of two terms, we will have 64 minus 9x squared. Real-world problems can often be studied with the help of mathematical equations. Often, these equations are of various higher orders. One such equation is the quadratic equation. An equation of order 2. What are these equations and where can we use them? Also, is there a way to solve them? Let's find out. The word quadratic comes from quadratum, the Latin word for square. Hence, we define a quadratic equation as an equation where the variable is of the second degree. Therefore, a quadratic equation is also called an equation of degree 2 or a second degree equation. 
quadratic equation is an equation with one variable that can be written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a should not be equal to zero. In the equation, ax squared is the quadratic term, bx is the linear term, and c is the constant term. Let's have some examples. Determine which of these are quadratic equations. By looking on the given examples, we know that equations b, c, d, and f are quadratic equations because their highest degree is 2. Quadratic equations may be written in different forms. They may be complete or incomplete. Which among the quadratic equations below are complete and incomplete? Correct! Equations A, D, and E are complete quadratic equations because they have the quadratic term, the linear term, and the constant term, and of course, they are second-degree equations. Working with quadratic equations is usually simplified when a quadratic equation is written in standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Let's have some examples. Given the quadratic equation 4x squared plus 7x equals 5, write it in standard form and determine the numerical coefficients a, b, and c. To get the standard form of it, we will be transposing 5 to the left side of the equation and then equating it to 0. We have 4x squared plus 7x minus 5 equals 0 as the standard form. Hence, a equals 4, b equals 7, and c equals negative 5. Next, we have the quadratic equation 3x squared equals negative 7. To get the standard form, we will transpose negative 7 to the left side of the equation and equating it to 0. Hence, the standard form is 3x squared plus 7 equals 0. With the numerical coefficients a equals 3, b equals 0, and c equals 7. Another example. Given the quadratic equation 5x squared equals negative 4x, we will write its standard form by transposing negative 4x to the left side of the equation, then equating it to 0. Therefore, the standard form is 5x squared plus 4x equals 0, with a equals 5, b equals 4, and c equals 0. Let's have this quadratic equation 3x times the quantity of x minus 2 equals 10. To get its standard form, first, we will distribute 3x by multiplying it to x and negative 2. So we have 3x squared minus 6x equals 10. Next, using the addition property of equality, we will add negative 10 on both sides to cancel the constant on the right side of the equation. After that, equate it to 0 to arrive for 3x squared minus 6x minus 10 equals 0 as the standard form. With a equals 3, b equals negative 6, and c equals negative 10. Now, let's have the quadratic equation the quantity of 2x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 1 equals negative 6. To solve for this, we will be using the FOIL method. So we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 5 equals negative 6. Combining the like terms, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals negative 6. Applying the addition property of equality, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 plus 6 equals negative 6 plus 6. Arriving on the standard form 2x squared plus 3x plus 1 equals 0, with a equals 2, b equals 3, and c equals 1. For your drill, identify which of the following equations are quadratic and which are not. You can comment down your answer. 
That ends our lesson today. I hope you learned something. See you on our next episode, mga ka Angels. Keep safe!